Welcome to Smart Forecasting Assistant Demo. Let me give you a brief introduction on this new assistant. So why a new Smart Forecasting Assistant? The new Smart Forecasting Assistant makes machine learning outcomes achievable by Splunk users with limited to no SPL requirements. Step-by-step -step workflow for ML outcomes without a data scientist knowledge. Guidance through the steps from a point and click setup. And you can also define data source using search and data set. Before moving to demo, let me tell you about the state space algorithm. The smart forecasting assistant uses this algorithm which can persist model created using the fit command that can then be used with apply, forecast multiple time series data into the future together as a unified system, a capability to add special days which can improve forecast by accounting for days which should be treated differently like calendar holidays, Black Friday sales or IP traffic on July 4th. It automatically imputes the missing value. It is automatic in that you do not need to choose parameters or mode. Now let's move on to the demo. Open the experiment tab and click on smart forecasting panel. For the purpose of this demo, I'll use 8 months app usage data to forecast their number of logins for next 30 days. Now the user creates a new experiment and he lands to the first stage which is called define. In this stage, the user can bring the data from search or data sets as you can see from here. We'll enter the search and at every stage you can see a data preview and visualization. Once the user is done with defining the data, he moves to the next stage which is learn. In this stage, the user does pre-processing of the data and creates a forecasting model. The user selects the learning steps interactively to customize and complete the outcome. They can add special days using the join lookup file option in the pre-processing step and then moves on to selecting fields and other required parameters to forecast. As you can see, we are just joining the lookup file. It joins the special days. Then once that is done, we can move on to the smart forecasting where you select the field. For the purpose of demo, I have already selected it. So in this case, we are selecting a field to forecast logons, a hold back period of 10 days, a future time span for the 30 days with a default parameter settings. For each of these parameters, we have tooltips, which tells what it is for. Now, once done, you can click on the forecast. It gives a preview and the evaluate section. And on the top, you see a plain summary English sentence. Now, let's move on to the next stage, which is review. The third stage is review where user looks into the model result based on the field selected in the learn stage. The user can check model accuracy through R2 and RMSE. Check out the tooltips for more detail on it. The forecasting panel helps to select a date and see its forecasted value at that time. As you can see, it gives you a lower boundary and upper boundary and the forecasted value at that selected time based on the confidence interval. Another important feature is ability to set a threshold to know how much time is there before a metric reaches a certain value? Like in this case, I can ask, like, show me the logins, which is greater than 100. We apply it. It shows me that in within the first day, we are getting the earliest threshold breach and it tells me what date it is. Once done, you have reviewed it and everything, then move on to the next step, which is, is operationalize. We'll save this. Now in the operationalized state, you can create alert, manage alert, you can schedule the model training, you can view all those scheduled training. So all those operationalized state is at one single place. So they can publish the model and everything. You can publish into a different app if you want to move into production and all stuff. So everything is at the operationalized stage. So that's it for the smart forecasting. Hope you enjoyed the demo.
थैंक यू